Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, come up with a new login and password to access the router's admin panel. Next, click on this button. Here you can choose the language of the router's admin panel. I will leave it in English. Next, let's move on to the router settings. To do this, click on this button.
wait until it finishes checking the connection type. On the next page, you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. You can keep the default credentials, but to change them, click here. Create a new name and password. Pay attention to the password requirements and save the settings. On the next page, you will see all your Wi-Fi information. Click on this button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If you want to change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network in the future, you can do it here. Now you need to reboot your router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router is fully powered on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, you can try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the MAC clone button. Save the settings. Reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.